Hello, my name is Ian Gibbons. I'm a poet, video artist and electronic musician living in the hills just outside the city of Adelaide in South Australia. Until I retired in 2014, I was a neuroscientist and professor of anatomy at Flinders University here in South Australia. I got the idea for making this video Colony Collapse when I visited Sydney a few years ago. Sydney is the site of the first British colony in Australia, established in 1788. Since then, there has been wholesale destruction of the environment and the displacement of our First Nations Indigenous people. However, it's obvious walking around Sydney, the cliff tops and the suburbs of the old part of town, that nature is still dominant. There is erosion, there are plants growing between the cracks in the pavements, there is rust on the old buildings, the old sandstone is falling away. The original footage for this video was taken at many different places around Australia. Many sequences were taken in Sydney, including underneath the iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge. Other sequences were taken around Adelaide and the coastline to the south of here. Yet more were taken in the Flinders Ranges, a dramatic landscape many hundreds of kilometres north of the city, which was in drought at the time. Yet other sequences were taken in Melbourne and the coastline to the south of there. Most of the scenes in the video have been composited from multiple elements, including various video animations. So they create a world which is sort of familiar, but not actually real, at least not for now. The theme of the festival, the new abandoned places, is very close to the heart of my video. The places we live here in Australia are new barely more than 200 years old, since the first Europeans settled these shores. Already, much of what they established has been lost, broken down by the elements and by further generations of colonists, trying to build something more long-lasting, something to support our ever-increasing populations. Yet the Indigenous people, the First Nations people, have been on this land for more than 50,000 years, maybe 60,000 years, maybe even more. And the country itself is ancient. Not far from here, just across the road, is an open cut exposing fossil seabeds that are more than 670 million years old. These are older than the very first forms of multicellular life that evolved on Earth. The environment is always changing, yet it lasts. It continues, as will life on Earth long after we have gone, long after our cities have fallen into disrepair and ruin. Once we have gone, once our places have been abandoned, fallen into ruin, nature will come back. The plants, the animals, the fungi, the microorganisms will regain the land that we have taken from them. They will regenerate the atmosphere, the earth, the waters. They will continue to evolve into new forms, different forms that can take advantage of the state of the environment within which they find themselves. And our descendants, what will they be like? What will they have inherited? It depends what we do next. It depends on how well we treat the organisms with which we share this world. It depends on how well we treat the very earth itself.